All right, this video is about how to uh, set your MX records in your DNS settings so that you can use Google Apps for education and you can receive email at your domain. So uh, at this point, I am already at the page that you would find in the setup wizard that would tell you how to set up email delivery. And uh, as always, Google provides some pretty good directions, which uh, I would encourage you to follow. But basically, right here you can see the MX records that need to be put into your DNS settings. Now, for this video, I'm going to assume that you know where your DNS settings are kept. Um, if you don't, you can look them up. you got to do a Whois lookup and figure out where your name servers are. But if you've just been following along this tutorial, you have your domain at GoDaddy. And in this case, I'm going to go ahead and look at the UPD domain. And down here in the DNS manager, I'm going to go ahead and launch the DNS manager. And you'll be able to see uh, one of the sections here is your MX settings. Now, I've already set these. Uh, initially, these were set to default values. But you can see, using Quick Add, I can basically put in the values that Google is telling me to put in. So um, here they are. And you just put those values into your DNS table. And don't forget to click Save at the end. Um, and then what you'll discover is that there is a, a lag time. It's, it take, can take up to 48 hours before uh, all emails are being routed to you. And I'm, I'm using this uh, tool called whatsmydns.net. Um, the internet uh, is actually a whole bunch of connected computers, and they all have to uh, tell each other where your mail is supposed to go uh, using these settings that you put in your DNS um, settings. You can test your MX records to see if they're propagating um, by going in and typing your uh, domain name. And you're going to use the MX drop down here. Again, this is what's my DNS.net. If I do a search, you'll be able to see your MX records come up uh, as viewed from a whole bunch of different locations. So it looks like right now, if you send an email from Berlin, Germany, it would not get to me. Um, but what this means is throughout the world, uh, mail sent is going to be routed properly to my to my Google inbox. Um, and if this if these haven't fully propagated yet, it means that you're not really able to get uh, reliable email yet. But again, 48 hours, and you should see your email start working. Congratulations.